Hey, how are you? Praise the Lord. I will read for you one or two scriptures that have caught my attention. One is in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 19. And I will read 1 Corinthians 15 verses 19. And I will read. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. You know, the reason we come to Christ is among others to have a relationship with him number one there are people who come to christ because they have a problem probably you are sick and you went to a servant of god and they prayed for you and you received your healing others come when they're in a crisis probably they have no job probably they are stranded in life and they go to christ because that is all right because jesus says come to me all you who labor and i will give you rest but if we end our relationship with Christ only at a level of hey I had a problem and now it is sorted I can assure you brother sister it's gonna be dangerous for you because Apostle Paul who prayed for the sick and saw them recover is the very one who's telling us 1 Corinthians 15 19 that if in this life alone we have hope in Christ we are the most miserable of men in other words, our hope in Christ needs to transcend this life that we are in and go to eternity. When was the last time you went for a prayer retreat and your prayer request was, Lord, change my heart. Lord, let me know you at a deeper dimension. Lord, let me know your will so I can serve you and be on the right side of Matthew 7, 21. It's not those who call me Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of my Father, which is at in heaven. My brother, there is a problem, especially in modernity. I have met people who are evidently called and gifted of God. They have the Holy Spirit, they speak in tongues, they pray and miracles happen, but they lack one key component which can tie into 1 Corinthians 15, 19. They lack the component of the fear of God. And yet, the seven spirits that comprise the Holy Spirit, one of them is the fear of God. Read Isaiah 11, 1 and 2 and see what the Bible declares. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Jesse was the father of David. That's why we call Jesus the son of David, because he came from the tribe of Judah. So this branch that will shoot out of the stem of Jesse is Jesus. Isaiah is speaking prophetically. And in the first two, he's saying, And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, comma. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Those are two spirits, wisdom and understanding. The Spirit of counsel, that is three. The Spirit of might, that is four. The Spirit of knowledge, that is five. And the Spirit of the fear of God. In other words, all these things that I have before mentioned are comprised within the Holy Spirit. So anybody who says they have the Holy Spirit must have might, must have wisdom, understanding, must have knowledge, and must have the fear of God. When you look at your life, brother, do you fear God? Do you live with the consciousness of His presence? You find somebody so gifted, they can sing, they can dance, they can preach, but this component of the fear of God, I can assure you, brother, sister, if you don't labor, and get closer to the Spirit of God to a point of the fear of God being incorporated in your heart. 1 Corinthians 15, 19 is something that will hold you accountable because you shall only have hope in Christ in this life alone. And that's a danger. Many people have come to church. Many people love God or seemingly love God when they have a problem. But the moment their problem is sorted, believe you me, they will even stop mentioning the name of Christ. Those who used to come early to church at 7 a.m. trying to cry and go, Lord, I have a problem. Lord, oh my goodness, I'm not married. Lord, I don't have a job. Lord, I need to travel. The moment those things are done for them, you'll never see them passionate about Christ again. Now, let me tell you one thing. If God ever does something for you, and you think you'll just take it lightly after all he has done, it is a God of mercy, he will leave it with you. But Luke 12 for the 8 will account. And whom much is given, much is required. You have ever experienced the power of God. He has ever solved the problem. 
and after he has solved it, you think it ends there. Honey, you live dangerously if you're that kind of person. For the scriptures tell us, strive to be at peace with all men. In other words, have no bitterness in your heart. Have no anger. And strive for holiness without which no man will see God. Blessings.